everybody, it's Christina from Spectra Noir. When you've finished colouring your images, do you sometimes struggle to find a paper that will match them? Well, the simple thing to do is to create your own. So what you need to do is just pick out two or three of the colours that you've used to create your image and we're going to make the background that will go with that image. Now in my image I've used Dark Green 2 and BP1. So those are the two colours that I'm going to create my background with. And I'm going to cut the, the actual image out into that shape. So I'm just using a plain piece of white card. I've made it bigger than the shape I would need to cut my um, image out. I'm backing it onto some scrap paper so I don't get alcohol ink all over my mat. I need a ruler. And this is just a piece of old t-shirt that I can keep the edges of my ruler clean with as I go along. And there's my colours. So I've added my card to some scrap paper and with the ruler I'm just going to use the, the thin end of the green, the DG2. And I'm just going to draw in a stripe along the card. And you can add them at whatever distance you wish. And then every so often I'm going to use the thicker end of the um, BB1. And I'm going to draw in a thick stripe. And I'm working from the centre to the left so that I can see what I'm doing. And if you're left handed you can work the other way. But I'm just going to create my stripes on my card. Now they don't have to be perfect because most of it's going to be covered by your topper. And then once you've gone that way you can turn your card around and do it the other way. So I've turned the card round and I'm just going to clean the ruler off with the old piece of a t-shirt and I'm going to work again from the centre to the left and I'm just going to create the rest of the stripes on the card until I get to the end. Now once you've finished adding your stripes, don't worry about the edges because you're going to trim that piece down to the size that you want it. And once it's been trimmed, you will have a nice neat background to add to your cards. So to put the card together, I'm using a white base card. I'm staying with the pink and green theme so I have a green mat and my stripy card that I've just created is going to sit on the top of that. Around that I'm going to put some ribbon. I have matted my image onto some green card and with some foam pads she's going to be added to the card with a bow and then what was left of the um, stripy card I have matted and layered onto some more green card and that's going to sit at the top of the card. Then all this will be added to the base card, ready to send. So there you have a finished card, created with Spectrum Noir, and the background matches the image that you've coloured.